Hello, my name is RJ and I am in a huge dilemma! No, but like for real, I have this like huge thing that I'm dealing with right now and I'm pretty sure that other people don't go through this because other people are normal, <sighs> but I'm not. So, we need to talk about this. My favorite Disney character is Eeyore and I'm actually wearing an Eeyore shirt, but you can't even tell. My favorite Disney princess is Cinderella because, duh, she's like the original, well not really, but like she's the coolest one. That's evident. And the third one was favorite Disney movie. And my favorite Disney movie used to be, I can't even remember. That's how jostled I am. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. I know it, it's in there somewhere. Oh my gosh, I'm a horrible person. Oh. How to train your dragon. Oh. Anyway. So the other night, Jed took me to Frozen, and it quickly became my new favorite Disney movie because it was awesome. It didn't have any of the cliches that normal Disney movies have. But like for example, she falls in love with this guy, and then she goes and tells her sister, and her sister's like, you just met this guy. It's only been a day. And the, the little snow guy, the snowman, oh my gosh, he made me laugh so hard, but it has caused real damage in my life and I need to know how to fix this. So yes, there are the three standard questions. Favorite character, favorite princess, and favorite movie. However, there is the fourth question that should probably be the first question and that is what Disney character are you? When I took the Disney quiz at Disneyland it said that I was Dot off of um, It's a Bug's Life. And I hated that movie, so I never accepted that as fact, even though most people probably should accept that as fact. However, my brother got Scar, and I think that's very fitting because he's a meanie. He's, he's a meanie. He has black hair, and he's like that creepy uncle. Oh my gosh, he's the creepy uncle. Oh my gosh. Who best represents you in the pool of Disney characters? My answer was always, always toothless. The dragon. DreamWorks is the same thing as Disney in my mind. Get over it. Get over it. So it was always Toothless. I never had to worry about it because it was always, always him. There's this dragon and he's really upbeat and really happy and just crazy. And then when you step on his lines, he gets mad. Okay, he gets really mad and he's gonna tear you smithereens. But as soon as you take your foot off the line, he's happy again and he's a dork and he's really loyal. I like him. But that always reminded me of me. And it always meshed so well. And if you watch the movie and you look at me, it just it just fits so well. Then we go to Frozen. Frozen, Frozen, Frozen. So there's the main character. I think her name's like Ariel or something. I know it's not. Oh, Anya. Anya, Anya maybe? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna call her Anna for short because I know that's not right. And at least I'll knowingly make a mistake. Anna is this little red-headed girl who's just so cute and innocent and bubbly and lively. And Jed made the comment, you know, you're really like the main character. What? What is that supposed to mean? What What am I supposed to do with that? How am I supposed to interpret that? Huh? If my husband, the love of my life, says that, oh, you're really like the main character. What? How am I supposed to do with that? I don't even know. Now I have taken this into deep consideration over the past couple days because it's a big deal. It really is a big deal, I promise. And I've come to the conclusion the Anna, Anna character is a lot like Toothless. Um, they're very, yeah, innocent, bubbly, childlike. Um, yes, both, that is the same. But the difference is that the dragon has a dark side as well, where he has been broken and wounded and he's kind of fixed his way. Sorry, I'm really talking with my hands today. Found a way to fix his little tail and then together with someone else, he's able to fly again. Where Anna, she goes too far and has to come back. You know, the broken and then you're flying again. Or Anna, yeah, she steps too far and she comes back. Look, I did the frozen braid, by the way. I can see why my husband would say that I am a lot like Anna though, because he likes to see the good in people, where I'm kind of a realist, and yes, I am very bubbly and very childlike, but I mean, if someone steps on your line, that's just not okay. They can't just go on, like, stepping on people's lines. 
She's just rude. On the other hand, Anna was very persistent in, in what she wanted. She kept going to the door and she just wanted to build a snowman. That's all she wanted was just a little snowman and her sister was such a butt. Just left her alone. But she's a butt. That's what she is. She's rude. Very rude. I hope you give me some kind of input that can help me through this dilemma and solve my problem so that I can once again look into the lot. Just kidding. If you want to comment or you know, whatever, that'd be cool. Okay, bye. Just kidding. Did you see what I did there? Did you see that? Okay, bye. You want to go this moment?